suspect in the North Lawndale mass shooting is now facing charges. 15 people were hurt during a Halloween party over the weekend. Our Marissa Perlman was there as police announced the charges uh, just within the last hour. Marissa, what can you tell us? Well, Brad, the state's attorney is saying they were able to make this arrest so quickly because the community, the survivors who were at this party spoke with police and spoke up. Now, we do know that 48-year-old Williams Groves, as you mentioned, now facing charges. He's been in custody for a couple days now. He's a known felon who police say should not have had a gun. Now charged with 15 counts of attempted murder, among other charges. Now, it's still under investigation how he actually was able to possess that gun that was used. Used. The unlicensed party was at a warehouse on 13th and Pulaski. City records listed as an art gallery, but since 2021, the building's department questioned if it was operating as an unlicensed club. Investigators say the suspect got angry after being kicked out and then returned with a gun and started shooting. As we mentioned, 15 people total were shot. We do know all of their conditions have been upgraded. We've also learned police are shutting down the location where this happened. Investigators are looking into whether the promoters or the building owners could also be facing charges. Being a part of these two dynamic communities, make no mistake about it, when violence like this disrupts our city, it's literally at our front doors. And those in my community and those who are in my faith community have been impacted for a very long time by the recklessness of those who wish to create harm and fear. People are afraid. People are afraid to speak up. Uh, usually it might take days or weeks for someone to come and say that they've seen something. In the immediate aftermath of this, the residents of Lawndale, the people who were at that party, spoke. Uh, they sat down with our law enforcement partners. They came in and spoke to the state's attorney's office um, expeditiously. Uh, every piece of evidence that could be gathered from them, uh, for those who were on site, uh, they were willing to share. So you heard from the state's attorney there just how the community, as she said, stepped up, shared information, and that's how they were able to make this arrest. Now, Groves will appear in court at noon today, will be held in custody pre-trial, according to the state's attorney's office. We do know a victim's assistance program for everyone who was at the party. That will also be held today from noon to 7. This is at the Young Men's Education Network. That's on South Pulaski. They'll be offering resources to those who may be impacted in the coming days. Brad, back to you. Mercer Perlman, thank you.